the final reaction video before the game officially comes out nickelodeon all-star brawl is coming tonight slash tomorrow and before i hop into this reaction i want to know from you guys in the comment section below which character you want to play as the most and why uh just drop the name down below and then let's just see where everybody stands as you guys already know we saw cora and ang which were like my most anticipated characters but this trailer has two more characters i'm super hyped about we have number one toff who i briefly saw some gameplay for on twitter yesterday and Zim, who is one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time. So without further ado, I'm going to hit play on Toph. And let's see uh, how she plays. Again, I saw a couple of clips and she looks absolutely toxic. I love that they added Toph. It's like, if you're going to add a non-avatar character, Toph is at the top of my list. Also, I want Zuko as well. Oh, that's Azula, Azula as well. Oh, we get more avatar characters in um, DLC in the future. Okay. Like any proper yeah, she had some toxic setups her with her, with her rock wall that I remember saw, seeing on Twitter. Her relatively weak aerial move. Let's start okay, so it looks like her with top slide attacks. weakness, I guess, top is going to be the aerial move. Knee. Reminds me of Hit in, in Drama Fighters. Her light up is champion's build. It's kind of whatever. This move to deal damage above Doesn't look like it has a lot of like range. And her light down is but I mean, if she has everything, she'll be broken. That's good. The slide is pretty is actually decent. Let's talk about she got that Beerus 2M, but it's actually active in the beginning. That doesn't look that bad. Why did they the say uh, her aerials are weak? Or unless I just didn't hear right. That's kind of whatever. And her light down is headbutt. Okay. Tough slide dash attack. Pretty basic. Running push. In case he wasn't clear that top doesn't mess around, here are his strong attacks. That! That wall right there! That wall setup is so tough. Top Look at that! Neutral is crushing earthquake. Her strong attacks are kind of crazy. Both her hands like that, that! The edge guarding with that is going to be so like insane. I feel like this character is going to get nerfed frame one. Oh, she's going to be so annoying. I feel like... I feel like Toph is an absolutely Adada Doya character. Top's hand also has a hitbox when performing this attack. Oh yeah, she's going to be uh, definitely on the higher tier. Slam. Yeah, that wall slam, bro. If someone recovers, they're just gonna die. Who thought that this is okay? Moving on to Top's air strong attacks. Okay. Top's kick his ass. There is front clap. Are oh, she really gonna be clapping your cheeks? Her strong upper is spin kick. And okay. her strong downer is downward punch. Okay, that's pretty decent as well. Top strong dash attack is stone catapult. Now we'll take a look at the versatility of the right, let's see the actual top special. Oh you can make a little platform? Is that her uh, recovery? Top's neutral special is Boulder Hurl. It can also hold, it looks like. She charges small rocks. It's pretty slow. Boulder. The longer the charge, the larger the boulder. Oh, there we go. So it doesn't get bigger. You can alternatively store the boulder with its current charge to throw it later. Oh, snap, you can charge it too? Oh my top, god, I feel like. Is boulder Surge. I feel like I want to she play with this character. Okay, so that's a recovery. How, you, how did you make the the air boulder? Oh, that's toxic! This has to be like one of the most toxic fighting game characters of all time. That! That's still crazy, dude! Are you kidding me? Nah, they gotta be some big fans of Toph at the office. That's why they gave her everything. I guess you can say that she is tough. It's a terrible joke, I'm sorry. That's a reference actually of the show. I like that. But they, they, all, they all are references of the show. 
Beware, the supply cards that are I actually am like not a stage. fan of this they stage, which is funny because looking back, every single right. stage that we've seen so far, I would always say, I love this stage. This is the one time I'm kind of like, yeah. Between the cabbage merchant and his cabbages. Oh, you gotta have the cabbage, man. Show us why she's the best earth vendor in the world with a real match demonstration. Right, let's see the actual gameplay. Three, two, one. I like how in the gameplay they used um, the SpongeBob map instead of that other map. Cause even they're probably like, yeah, we don't really like this one. Dude, those setups at the wall are ridiculous. I want to see a wall spike. I want to see a wall spike. Like, look at that. The edge guarding is gonna be crazy. Oh, good block. Dog, you can do it on top of that too. Now we're on the map. That was toxic. Good spike. Oh my god. I just know we're gonna be so annoyed by this character. What a spike. Ooh. Nah, out of all the characters uh, shown so far, she has to be like the best. By far. Like, I hate judging a. God damn! I hate judging a character. Ooh, I like that windscreen. And that's tough. I hate so judging a character uh, before being able to play as a character. That's why I like to be like, oh, this character is going to be a snap. This character is going to suck until I play with them. But like seeing that gameplay, I'm just like, I just don't, I don't see much weaknesses. I mean, they, they, he said that the, her aerials were kind of like weak to kind of make up for how good the character is. But like, I see no weaknesses. This character looks like it's just snapped. As she should be. All right. So the second character I want to see is Zim. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Invader Zim. And I, I'm hitting play. Let's see what we got. I don't know what to expect with this character, but I feel like with all the gadgets that Zim has, you could probably get some pretty cool looking attacks and stuff like that and animations. Hey everybody! I just hope Zim is broken. My name is Thaddeus Cruz from the Nickelodeon All Star Brawl Development. So looks like Zim is gonna uh, today, walk around with the little spider bot. The of the I like that stage. I do like that stage. It's clean. Zim. It's simple. Zim is a slow and light brawler who likes to throw traps and use and you get to use you get to use Gur to limit the movement of his opponents. And oh, he's just he, look how he stands out. Aggressors. He Can you keep Gur out? Ambushing brawlers by putting them between a rock and a hard place. Time to this music is dope too. Doom on your enemies. Doom. Do 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 doom doom, doom song. For Earth's conquest with Zim's light attacks. Zim's light neutral okay. is. Got pretty decent range. His light up is okay. Boosted kick. I like how the enthusiasm that you get from the announcer every single time. Down is you can like hear the passion Spider in the voice, spin. which is something I, I really like about how they break these break these videos down. Let's talk about Zim's air light attacks. Zim's light neutral air is that's good. Spider windmill. It's got a lot of range. His light up air is aerial spider poke. <laughs> like I they all call it after spiders. And his light down air is leg stretch. Except for that one. Sims Missed light opportunity called the spider is stretch. Spider jab. I really want to see. On to world domination. I want to see the Gur stuff. Phase two with Zim's strong attacks. Zim's strong neutral is... Little burning zap. Lasers. You can edge guard with that too. His strong up is... Shock Spear. Standard issue for the Urken Armada. And his strong down is... Doom! <laughs> Doom! <laughs> I love the names! Let's go over the references, man! Zim's strong neutral air is... So you got the laser again? Aerial burning lasers. His strong up air is... Aerial shock spear. So much enthusiasm. And his strong down air is... Mini moose. The ultimate they got the moose. tool of destruction. Zim's strong dash is... Spider Pretty good too. Song. So far I'm sold. I'm sold on Zim. 
Let's now observe the deviousness of right. Sim's inventions with the, his special the special attacks. attacks. That's what I mean. Like he has tools. Special is so we got Gur. Gur, who seems to hang out on the map. Gur appears next to Zim, running automatically. You can get him to stop. Can be okay. To stop and start again by pressing special. Okay. That could be good for mix-ups. Jump by using a neutral light attack. Ooh. That's gonna require a lot of brain power. Gur makes contact with an opponent. He self-destructs, dealing damage. Also, if you hit Gur on his way with a light attack, he will switch directions. <laughs> He's so dumb. I love it. I love it. This is what I'm talking about. Zim's up special is bombs away. He launches into the air and drops a bomb below that explodes on impact. That's a pretty and okay his recovery. Is Lano. He deploys a robotic lawn gnome that hangs in midair and deals area of effect damage for a set amount of time. Deploying a new gnome. Oh, yeah, you can use that for pressure. The previous one. Actually, Lastly, is that, you could probably also edge guard with that. Move. Zim stages. I want to see if they can Urgent use the gnome invasion. for preventing this people to get back on stage. stage with because if you just drop that, like, right... It might not actually work, because it, it might be too high. Like the Urken fleet is mobilizing. Planet Blorch's doom. I do like that stage. Sure. It's very simple. Now, let's witness Zim unleash Eternal Doom! Doom! Eternal Doom! Enemies in a real match. Let's see that gameplay. Ready? Three, two, one. Fight! Okay. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, in between the gnome and Gur, he's gonna be annoying. And then you can also put Gur just down to just, like, basically control that platform. Good spike. Look at that mix up. Let's see uh, the gnome in action. It's probably too high. I'm pretty sure it's too high. But you can definitely use Gur. Yeah, like, like that. You can definitely use Gur on the edge. That works too. Spike! Oh, yeah. No, you definitely can't. So if you set up like that, it's going to be so annoying to get back on stage. I like Zim. I like Zim. That's Zim. I like Thank them. Alright, like I said, this is uh, Nickelodeon All-Star Eve, so comment section below, let me know your thoughts on everything we've seen so far out of all the characters that have been shown. We have no idea what they have planned for DLC and stuff like that, but uh, comment section below, let me know your thoughts on who you want to play and who you want to see in the future of the game. With that said, stay tuned for gameplay videos this week. Me and the idiots definitely going to do some fun stuff around this as well, and I guess stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the comment section below. Peace.